G'day. Just uh, an area of a 6R80 that you might have issues with, and that's with the clutch A. This one's the one that's right up against the pump, and it's applied in first, second, third, fourth gear. And there's this unit here, which is called the front planetary. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of. This little plastic thrust washer there is actually a, an oil slinger. Oil gets caught in that little groove and then there are little tubes there, if you can see that, that takes the oil and lubricates the needle rollers on those gears. So to get them off we've got this little bend in our screwdriver and it's a nice smooth one, it's not a sharp screwdriver. We use this for picking out seals and all that sort of business and the way you do it is you just there'll be like a little locking point in the middle of those there and you just sort of pry it just gently or you'll damage it there you go, this one. Yep. Two. and you don't want to just force it you want it to find its own way coming out there we go now we just wriggle that out and there that's what I was talking about they just lock in into those ports there and these ones are an actual tube and that tubes connected right up there the oil splashes around fills that little channel there and as it's spinning the oil goes in there through that pin and lubricates the little rollers. Now the second thing to be aware of on these is the bushes they wear out quite often. Take care punching them out and when you're putting them in you, you can't tap them in with a bush driver you actually need to use an arbor press to put it in. The reason being is a lot of those bushes are very thin and if you bash it in it'll actually sometimes go in a little bit askew or crooked and it won't work properly or it'll scrub out the bush on one side. And now we're going to pull out like to disassemble this whole clutch A or the forward clutch pack we need to remove the planetary gear. So what there actually is Underneath there's a sun gear in here that's that sits over. You can see it in there, there's a sun gear, and it sits sun gear is locked on that on that spline bit on the pump on the stator there. So I like to take them off on the pump because the pump sort of supports everything. There we go. Now it's a little bit tricky to see. Underneath that planetary there are little four little sections that lock into that drum. And you need to find where that that little locking bit is. I'll show you in a moment, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And you need to find that location because under that there's a little circlet. A little bit dark there. There we go. Steve, can you just hold that torch on this side? Now there it is there. That little part there. When you can see that, there'll be one on one side and one on the opposite side. So what you do is you just go to the left of it, because you see the end of it there, and you just push that circlip. There'll be a circlip under that. And then you cock the planetary to one side, rotate it while, while you're sort of flexing it up, 180 degrees, and do the same on the other side and the planetary will just pop out. Now you can use something like that, or you can use a straight one, and sometimes even you can use your little scribing pick there. So either or either doesn't matter. There's a straight one there, just to show you. Now I'm 
pushing to the left side of that little tang. I'll show you in a moment when I get it off. I'm, I'm pushing it and you'll feel it flex, you'll feel it move on the spring steel. And now I just flex that. There you go, I've just flexed. I'm pulling it up with my thumb and I rotate that around while I'm still pulling it up. That hopefully hasn't fallen through. And then you'll find another tang on 180 degrees. And I'll just swap fingers there just so I can lever this side up. And you push that circlip. And there we go. And it's popped out like that. Sometimes this circlip actually falls out. There's a little groove there. There it is there. And these are those tangs that I'm talking about. And you can see the little groove where the circlip sits in there. So we put that back in there. Because when you're putting it back together it just sort of clicks in. There is a little little bit of a trick. It's not really a trick. It's just how you're supposed to lock it in. I'll put the join over here. Yeah, like that. You've got that sun gear. Now under the sun gear, you've got a little spacer there. You can get these in the kit to adjust it and now if you have a look at these tangs here there's two that are close together and there's a big open space so you need to be aware of that because that's where you need to align these here with that when you're pushing it back on if you go the other way like if you if you're not aligning it the circlip won't engage or click in where it should be. So I'll just show you what I'm talking about. Good idea to put a little bit of assembly gel on that bearing just so it doesn't fall out of its spot. Um, another thing I'll just note, there's a little stepped bit here. The other side where the bearing sits it's just flat. So this part sits over here on that little adjustment shim. And okay, put that on there. Line up these two, the two that are close together, with these two. And just roll it around until that sun gear grabs all those gears on the planetary. And then we just simply push it down. Now because I'm on the pump, you need to actually pull Pull the whole drum up a little bit just so that circlip can pop in and I'll show you it's sitting on the drum there I can just pull that out again see and if I roll that around till it finds all the gears line up those little teeth there pressing down with both thumbs and I just pick lift up that drum like that and there we go, that's locked in. I can actually pull the whole drum out. It's locked in on those that circlip. There we go. And you actually need to take that planetary out to be able to change the seals on that drum as well. Anyway, I hope that helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Any comments or questions, leave them in the section below. Throw us a beer if any of this information has saved you a bit of grief. Thank you for watching.